these videos. They are an attempt to put into words what cannot be put into words. They are an attempt to put into words what cannot be said. So I fail every single time. But I know that. And I try anyway. I try to come as close as I possibly can in describing what cannot be described. Sometimes I fail miserably. <laughs> <laughs> and at other times, I have the sense that I have been touching, almost touching upon the surface of, of that which cannot be touched. And the funny thing is that every time I sit down in front of the camera, I have absolutely no idea about whether it is failing completely or almost succeeding that is going to happen. And that makes it into an exploration, a beautiful exploration. <clears throat> And that is why these videos, they are different than almost everything else that you can find on YouTube. Except very few occasions where some being also is sharing a similar message. And that is so beautiful. There seems to be a increased numbers, an increased number of beings that are sharing a similar message. And that is amazing. It shows us that the human being is longing for truth. I already knew that. <laughs> so let's make a new exploration. I can feel that I am about to talk about the difference between me and I. On the one, one hand, me also sometimes expressed as my me and my. And then on the other hand, the I. The me. And the my. My possessions. My body. My social status my nationality, my gender, my successes or my fiascos. <laughs> All of these be 
belongs to the me. The me is the conditioned self. The me is an conceptual idea about who I am. It is a conceptual social construct. Something that has been indoctrinated into almost every human being through childhood. When the surroundings were trying to do their best in the upbringing of this new life, this new being, and the surroundings, parents, siblings, teachers, so on and so forth. They were simply just doing what the generation before them had been doing to them. Feeding them with a story. A story about what it means to be a human being. And then that story evolved into a belief system. The me. The me is who I am. No, it is absolutely not who I am. And here I then introduce the concept of I. That is a very beautiful concept. It consists only of a single letter, a simple line vertical line, I. I am the one who is speaking here. This is not me that is speaking. This is not the me that is speaking. I am speaking. The me is not able to say what the I is saying. The me longs for the I, but the me can never get to the I, because the me is a construct. a belief system, an idea about who I am. And that idea can never, ever contain the I. It is simply an idea. And when we are stuck in that story, and most human beings are absolutely stuck in that story, then that story veils everything. And a huge part of that story is the idea that I am separate from everything else, that I am an individual. But I am not separate from everything else, and I am not an individual. The me has that idea, 
And when the me has that idea, it feels vulnerable because it sees itself as a separate thing, as a Yeah, as a thing that has been come that has come into being, a thing that is born, a thing that will die again. And that means that to the me, fear is the constant companion. But you could ask a lot of me's if they are frightened, if they have fear within them, and they will deny it. But fear comes in many disguises. In reality, there are only two emotions. Love and fear. And beneath all so-called negative emotions, anger, resentment, jealousy, boredom, you name it, beneath all those emotions, negative emotions, there is fear. In a later video, I will go through all of these negative emotions and unveil the fear underneath them. But back to the topic of this talk, the me and the I. So, yes, the me, the me is born and the me will die with the body when the body dies. But the I do not share the limitations of the body or the me for that matter. The I is the source underneath everything. The, the con it is the conditioning that is veiling this I. And when confronted with a talk like this, almost all human beings intuit the truth of what is being said. And most people, they are longing for the freedom of the I, the I am. But see the difficulties or the problem that the me is facing is that the me cannot ever get in contact with the I. Because at that very moment when the I is unveiled, then the me structure collapses. And the me structure have a vague sense of this. And then fear arises. For the me, the me is a sort of controlling mechanism. The me seeks to control everything, including itself. And that is a tough job. <laughs> a never-ending job. A never-ending task of trying to control everything. And in so doing, being controlled by everything. So that is the obstacle, fear. The me is like a moth 
a moth that is seeking the flame of a candle. The moth, the moth feels attracted to the flame of the candle. The moth wants the light. But at that very moment where the moth is merged with the light of the candle, it dies. And that's the exact same that happens to the me. And then the me gets scared. So there is a lot of me's who have tried to construct a, an alternative idea about the I. A spiritual or a religious idea about the I. An idea that is less frightening. Although they are often frightening, even though to the me. But they will always remain dissatisfactory. No matter what spiritual idea or religious idea or scientific idea for that matter, no matter what or which of those ideas that you adopt, they will continue to be ideas. And any idea is born and will die again because they are ideas. So, is there anything the I can say to the me that will make it lower its defense? Probably not. But the I can say this much. Yes, when the me is seen through. It is the I that re recognize itself. It is the I that rediscover itself as the source. It is the I that sees that the me was nothing but a story a social construct. And in that seeing, yes, the me collapses. And all those things that the me thought were, were very important, that is seen through and it is seen very clearly that these things are not important at all. So all that motivated the me evaporates. So there will be a feeling or a sense of losing Losing a lot, but the I sees clearly. The I understands clearly. And the I understands that the human being is living in a social context and that a lot of the, what to call it, a lot of the knowledge that the me was carrying can be used and must be used in everyday life. So the I does not destroy the me. 
There are, there are no need for doing that. It is unnecessary to destroy the me. What is necessary is to see through it, to understand that it is nothing but an idea. It is like an operating system that makes it possible to function in everyday life, practically. And the I makes use of that knowledge. And the I is liberated. So there is nothing to fear, although when the I is unveiled, there will be a lot of changes. And the cat wants to join in. Come on. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Wonderful. It is a different kind of knowing. Come here, my friend. Say hello. Oops. No. Oh, she just wants to lay down. That's beautiful. It is a different kind of knowing. It is a liberation, a liberation from the, from the chains. <laughs> she is good. She's doing a fantastic job of trying to distract me and the me gets distracted, but I do not get distracted. To the me, all of this sounds very complicated. To the me, this sounds like there is a lot of things that needs to be learned. And that there is a lot of things that needs to be remembered. But that is not true. There is nothing to be remembered. What is simply happening is that the I is observing. The I is doing its thing, liberated, free, creativity, beauty. And the I is liberated for all the fear that is a part of the me. Let's try and do this. Close your eyes and just listen. Can you hear the cat? Who is listening? Can you find anything behind the listening? Is there a someone who is listening?
Is there a me who is listening? If you ask yourself, who am I? Then you either have to think the me into existence or to speak out loud trying to describe the me. But in both circumstances, who is listening to these descriptions? <laughs> who is listening? I am listening. There is simple, simply just listening. There is listening. That is not a someone, that is not a me, that is listening. Just simply stay with the listening. I am listening. And I am listening in this being, and I am listening in that being. It's the same I. The source of everything. You are that, we are that. There is nothing to fear. This I was never born. This I will never die. The idea about the me is something that is born through childhood. Something that has been indoctrinated into us. That idea, that self-image, that idea dies with the body. And that is why that idea are always will have fear as its companion. But I am not limited to this idea. I am not limited to the body. I do not share the limitations of this self-image I do not share the limitations of the human body. I am experiencing all of these things. I am the experiencing itself. And I am experiencing everything. I am was never born and will never die. 
That is liberation. Thank you.